it's like just not feeling it. Here is my mess. Getting rid of stuff is so hard. <laughs> Hello everyone, good afternoon. So I actually came in this morning and when I came in, the tech people were kind of getting things situated. They were sorting laptops. They were taking like the old computers and putting them to the new grade levels and all that stuff. And I was like, just not feeling it. So <laughs> I, I came in and I did a little bit of work really quickly and then I just left. So I decided to just come back later and here I am, back a little later. I think there are still people here, hence the like putting the shade down. They definitely can still hear me, but it's just a little less awkward <laughs> that they can't see me. And yeah, we are gonna do a little classroom setup for today. I think I'm only gonna spend about less than an hour here because I have somewhere to go in at like 2.20 and it is currently 1.15. So, I'm gonna kind of give you a quick debrief of what I did for the like 20 minutes that I was here earlier today. And then we are going to pick something on the to-do list to work through and we're gonna get to it. So let me show you what we did. But first, if you're new here, my name is Victoria. I am a seventh year third grade teacher in Maine and a mom to a 22 month old. And yeah, I'm so happy you're here. We're gonna have a lot of fun and let me show you what I did. Okay, just kidding. I wanted to finish what I was doing first, and now that I've finished it, I'll talk, talk you through what I did. So basically, I realized that I had too many like math manipulatives out that I don't really use that much. So I kind of took out the math manipulatives that we don't use much and put them over here. I figured I could put them in my storage closet over here once I kind of clean it out. Then, so I made this side over here, like the math manipulative side, and then I made this side over here, the like indoor recess side and slash like morning station side. And that is looking good, I think. it. I don't love how the tops don't fit on the containers, but I think I'll be able to fix that once I kind of finalize how to, like how I'm going to store those math manipulatives. But I'm thinking right now that, let me grab it, thinking that I'm going to use one of these little like zipper pouches to put a little math kit together in. So I'll use a lot of the things in here. So once I've done that, I'm not even really sure what I'm going to need out at all times, but I'll probably keep that there for now. But I'm thinking I'll put counters, dice. I'm not sure that I'll put base 10 blocks or geo boards in there just because that's not something they need to use all the time. Probably a ruler, stuff like that. And yeah, that's my thought right now. So I have looked through this stuff, it's cleaned out. I am at some point going to need to go through these books and just sort them a little bit more. I was thinking I'd do them by color of the spine and then kind of make like a directory of what book goes with what skill but that is a big big project so I'm not sure I'll get to that but if you're wondering these are my like mentor texts that I use but I also keep them over here in the like calm corner like space for kids to read if they want to so there you go 
Now I'm going to go look at my to-do list, check off something, and start looking for what we're going to do next. Okay, so I got two things checked off my to-do list. I like reorganized and sorted the math manipulatives and I sorted the laptops, which I didn't really do, <laughs> but the um, tech people did. But uh, since they did it, I can check it off my to-do list because I put it on there. So now I think the next logical step is to look through and clean the bulletin storage. That way I can put the stuff that I just took out of my math manipulative space and put it in there. And also just kind of clean out the stuff that I don't need anymore. I'm also thinking, I think I can be, I think I can probably get done two tasks. So I'm thinking I'll get that done. And then I think I'll get a picture of the books that I have. And I think I'll just kind of write an email to all staff just saying they're up for grabs. So that is the plan. Let me flip you around and show you my like mess of a cabinet <laughs> and you will see the problems that I'm having. It's a good problem. I have too much stuff, but I barely even went in there last year. So I need to really think through what I actually need. So Let's, I'll show you what I'm looking, working with and then let's get some stuff done. Okay, so here is my mess. I have in here a ton of like games that I have like never played <laughs> and always like hold on to because I'm like, maybe someday I'll play it. I've played Payday before, but other than that, I haven't really played any of the things. And then I also have some stuff for math manipulatives that I didn't really use that much. I'll, I'll still keep some stuff, like I'll keep the calculators. I did pull those out a little last year. I'll keep the money. I'll probably get rid of all of the like build, the already built 3D shapes and you know, so on. So this is the stuff. It's mostly games and math manipulatives. And then on the other side, over here we have a ton of my like teacher texts that I actually have more to add to soon because I had some at my house that I don't need to have at my house anymore. And I have our FMP kits, which I'm curious what we'll end up doing with because I don't think that we are doing FMPs next year. Still waiting to hear on that, but interesting and then at the top i have all of these like winter gear stuff up here so i will need to keep that but maybe i can kind of sort it in a better way over here i have some books i don't really know why they're in here i think that back when i leveled my library they were like higher level texts so i think i should look through those and see which ones i want to keep and which ones i don't and then i'll just put them in the book pile and looks like I have some magnifying lenses and some force in motion kits and all that stuff. So there you go. I need to clean this out. And I also have definitely some like old dollar spot decor that I never used. So I'll have to look through that and see what I want. So this is the message to all of you teachers to make sure that you have a purpose to what you buy. <laughs> Okay, let's get to cleaning this space out. Okay, I'm not sure what to do with things like this. I've never used them, but that doesn't mean that they're not good. So do you have anything like this where it has basically like a main idea text and then you have to select what the main idea is. It actually seems kind of good. So maybe I should keep these? Comment down below and let me know what you think. I might, like, I think this is what happens though, is I always like, I'm like, oh, actually these look kind of good. And then I keep them all and then I don't actually use them. So 
Comment down below, tell me what you think I should do with stuff like this. What did you do with these things? What would you do with quiz mounts? Never really used them. Seem pretty good. I don't think I need sight words anyways, because I feel like sight words are old news. I think these will go with the donate. We'll be no hard goodbyes, thank God we're civilized. Bye bye, flashcards. You are too disorganized for me. Quizinar rods. Quizinar rods. However you say it. I think these will be going bye bye because they're missing a ton of pieces. And so I don't really have any like full kits. And it's just taking up a lot of space that I never use. So I'm going to keep these 3D shapes, these blocks, but I'm not going to keep any of these because students built them and if I ever wanted to do something like this for kids to explore, I'd want them to build them themselves as well. So, see you later. Okay, everyone, getting rid of stuff is so hard. <laughs> I have gotten a lot done. I got a lot of, I'm always, I'm always like over ambitious with what I think I can get done in a period of time, especially cleaning stuff out. I always think that I'm gonna be able to get like cleaning out stuff done in like 20 minutes and that is not ever what happens. <laughs> but I've cleaned out a lot of my, cabinet right here and I've kind of just made a big old pile of stuff that I'm getting rid of right now. I have a lot of like cards, games, Cuisinaire rods that are missing pieces, books, so on. So I'm feeling good about what I've done so far. I still have more of this cabinet to do. I'm not going to finish it today. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like I'm getting stuff done. But I'm also no noticing this is definitely slow progress. I'm gonna set you down because my arm is getting tired. Okay, so I have everything done for today. I'm not gonna get any through anything else. So basically we are just in classroom setup mode for a little bit longer. I am going on vacation the week before school starts. So I really have like this week and next week to finish setting up what I want to get done. And then the week that we go back to school is August 28th and we have two days before kids come back. I'm not sure how much time we'll have in our classroom to do that that time, but I also know that we're gonna need to like plan and prep for the first few weeks, few, few days of school too. So I would like to get many more setups in before then, but if I don't, it will be okay. Ultimately, like a lot of the setup stuff that I'm doing is just cleaning out. I feel like, Every year I really like to do just like a refresh because we as teachers can accumulate a lot of clutter from past teachers and just from our, you know, current teaching years. And I think it's just really helpful to kind of reflect and think, 
what have I used, what is good, and what have I not used and could use. And after that reflection, it kind of like helps you get rid of stuff and kind of keeps your classroom orderly and minimalistic in some senses. So we don't wanna be just like having a classroom full of clutter because if you can't find stuff, your kids can't either. That's my motto at least. So there you go. I am gonna close off the vlog for today. So we just had like a really quick classroom setup today. I promise you more will come. I will see, I don't know when I'll be back to be determined. Most likely next week, I'll try and get in a few times. So until then, I hope that you all have the best day. I hope that if you've started school, that it's going amazing. Comment down below when you start school. And if you have any thoughts or recommendations on my classroom, I would love to hear it. One thing that I would really love to hear is what math manipulatives do you have out readily accessible at all times because that's kind of what I'm playing around with right now and I do plan on making math toolkits as I explained earlier so there you go I need to go I will see you all later bye everyone mm -hmm.